Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm a PhD candidate. I'm in my third year and I work on the detection of electricity theft using machine learning. Electricity theft is an issue all over the globe, but in particular in emerging markets. If you look at Brazil, India, Pakistan, Nigeria, it's a huge issue. And what people do essentially is they manipulate their meters to get electricity for free. And if you look into emerging markets, the theft can range up to 40% of the total electricity distributed. So we work with a partner company named Choice Technologies. They provide us with real data from utilities in Brazil. The data we've got is consumption data, but also the results of physical on-site inspections when technicians inspected customers and they found fraud or not. And we use that data and we analyze it with machine learning. Machine learning allows us to understand what makes fraud and what doesn't make fraud. Essentially, we learn patterns, statistical patterns from the data and then we can predict who steals and who does not. I think first of all starting a PhD is a challenge because when you start in a lab there are like 10 people in the lab who have a whole lot more experience than you and a whole lot more knowledge of the whole process than you. So over time you have to become comfortable with this and you have to find your own research direction. That's a challenge. And then we have to publish and we want to go for great conferences. And then the last point is another challenge. We not only publish, but we also want the industry partner to use it. So we have to convince the industry partner that our research outcomes are actually useful to them. I use Python to write my code. Python is a very abstract programming language. Essentially, it's pseudocode that we can execute. And there are a lot of libraries for machine learning. But I want to note that the actual implementation is just a small part of my daily life. Because first of all, we read a lot of papers. Then we come up with new models. Essentially, in the PhD, we have to make a new scientific contribution, not just another application. Then we code it, and then we write papers, and then we send them to conferences or journals, and once they are accepted, we present them. SNT is a great place because you have a lot of great people spread over the various labs. So if you need help and expertise, you can look around and you will find a very bright person. Uh, we also have great resources. You're given the resources that you need for procurement or traveling, which is essential. But we also have great visitors. For example, a few weeks ago, Stephen Boyd, a Stanford professor, visited us and gave a talk about cutting-edge optimization theory. And in other labs, you would probably not have these sort, that sort of people visiting us.